Steph Curry is going to go down as the greatest shooter of all time. And what is still crazy is that he was selected seventh overall in the 2009 NBA draft. There were some good and some not so good players selected before Steph Curry. And in this video, we're going to check them out. Of course, none are Steph Curry and what could have been for these franchises if they had picked them. The first overall pick was held by the Clippers in 2009 and everybody knew who they were taking. They were taking the forward, Blake Griffin out of Oklahoma. You really can't blame the Clippers here as anyone would have took Blake Griffin and he still had a great career with the Clippers. 21.6 points per game, 9.3 rebounds, and 4.2 assists in 504 games with the Clippers in his career. Overall, Griffin has played 12 seasons with the Clippers, Pistons, and now the Nets, and he's averaged 19.8 points per game, 8.2 rebounds with 4.1 assists, and he's played 724 regular seasons. Griffin has been a great player in the NBA, but not quite Steph Curry. With the second overall pick in the 2009 draft, the Memphis Grizzlies took the biggest bust in the draft, being Hashim the Beat. Hashim only played two seasons with the Grizzlies, giving a whopping 2.3 points per game and 2.8 rebounds per game, a total of 113 games played. He also played two seasons for the Thunder and then 15 games for Portland and then a whopping seven games for the Houston Rockets. He only averaged two points per game and two rebounds per game in his short career. How would the Grizzlies look like today if they drafted Steph Curry? With the third pick in the NBA draft, the Thunder selected James Harden out of Arizona State. Of course, this ended up being a great pick, but the Thunder only had Harden for three seasons. In those three seasons, he averaged 12.7 points per game. Then Harden went to the Rockets and became a superstar, averaging 29.6 points per game, 6 rebounds, 7.7 .7 assists in his 9 seasons with the Rockets. He's now played 2 seasons with Brooklyn and then 1 season with Philadelphia. Being how great James Harden has turned out, you really can't blame OKC for taking him. But only having him for 3 seasons is terrible for the Thunder and what they had with him, Durant, and Westbrook at the time. You just wonder how things would have changed for the Thunder if they had taken Steph Curry. With the fourth pick in the draft, the Kings selected guard Tyreek Evans out of Memphis. Evans ended up playing five seasons for the Kings, averaging 17.2 points per game and four rebounds and four assists per game. While Evans was a good guard and he played 11 years in the NBA with the Kings, Pelicans, Pacers, and Memphis, he is simply far from being Steph Curry. In his career, he averaged 15 points per game, four assists per game, with four rebounds a game. Evans has not played in the league since 2018, while Steph Curry continues to be Curry. Both picks five and six of the 2009 NBA draft was held by the Minnesota Timberwolves. And with the fifth pick in the draft, they selected guard Ricky Rubio. Rubio had a lot of hype coming into the draft and he's had a very solid NBA career as he's still in the NBA now and he's gotten better every single year. Rubio played seven seasons for the Timberwolves, averaging 10.1 points per game and eight assists a game. He's then sent on to play two seasons with the Jazz, one season with the Suns, and one season with the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think it's safe to say that Ricky Rubio never quite lived up to the hype he had coming in as some people thought he was the next Pistol Pete Maravich, but he's had a very solid career, but unfortunately not Steph Curry. The Timberwolves had another chance to get it right as they had the six overall pick right behind number five, and they selected Johnny Flynn, guard out of Syracuse. Johnny Flynn was six foot and never made it in the NBA. Flynn played two seasons for the Timberwolves, averaging 10 points per game and four assists, but then went on to play one season with Portland, one season with Houston, and then three seasons for Australia, China, and Italy. This was a terrible choice by the Minnesota Timberwolves as many thought that they were gonna take Steph Curry. 
Curry would then go on to be selected with the seventh overall pick to the Golden State Warriors, and the rest is history. Five organizations would have been changed forever if they simply have taken the guard out of Davidson, Steph Curry. Let me know about what you think about these six picks before Steph Curry in the comment section below, and give me another athlete that you would like to see made a video about, about the people drafted before him.